Your shoulders? for me to just jump up on your shoulders. And I'm certainly not gonna give you the satisfaction of making me climb. So kneel. <laughs> Thanks. A little step up is just what I needed. Quiet. Here. We... go! <laughs> Alright, give me your hand. Well, I'm not Superman, that's for sure. And I'm not Batman, or Spider-Man, or Aquaman, or Merman, or a Wolfman. I'm not a Brahmin, or Common, or Ramen. I'm not a Cayman either, so you don't really need to worry about anything. My name is Phi. I guess you could say, I am no man. Just come on. One of these days, Witch King. Sure doesn't look like an elevator shaft. Some kind of warehouse, maybe. Or a hangar. Yeah. It wasn't going to go anywhere. So it would seem. Forget it. Look. More people. Looks like an old guy, a young man, two girls, and... They're all wearing bracelets. Probably safe to assume they're trapped here, too. No, we don't. I haven't been out here much longer than you. They grabbed you too, huh? shared that particular experience. The smoke seems to be some kind of general anesthetic. When I woke up, I was in one of these elevators. No! Mr. Dio and I were in the same elevator, but... 
That would be me. This little guy here is Quark. Nice to meet you, mister. Tenmi OG Alice and Luna all woke up in different elevators. Correct me if I'm wrong. Now, you got it right. Yep. Me. She's Luna. Hello. It's very nice to meet you. And you are? Say that again. Bastard. Um, are you two... You think? Uh, yeah. Uh, see your bracelet there? Hmm. And yours? Fi, right? Now let me have a look. Uh, I thought so. Quark, you and Dio show them your bracelets. Oh, sharp eye there. Hmm. Show him yours too, ladies. Right. You figure it out then? Sigma and I are the red pair. Dio and Quark are the blue pair. Each pair got put in the same elevator. But Tenmi, Oji, Alice, and Luna were all solos, so... Hmm. Don't got the foggiest idea. I don't know why we're split up like this either. Does anybody know what the three means? Maybe it has something to do with the game. Yes, yes, yes! And I'm calling it... The Nunnery Game! Epidex Audition! Yes. In the elevator. He said something about the elevator falling. think we'd have done it last if there was? Well, give it a shot, why don't you? <laughs> I don't think you'll be able to force that door with anything short of a tank. you already. Ugh. Each one's got a digital lock on it. 
We can't pick the lock, and we can't break down the door. Why would I lie? No, unfortunately. Not that we've found, anyway. Well, there is one thing I'm a little curious about. I was the first to escape. That means I know who was in which elevator. I watched all of you come out, after all. Well, I was in the one-third from the right. Tenmyoji was the second out. Your elevator was second from the left, I think. Mm, good memory. Yeah, that's where I was. Third was Luna. You climbed out of the rightmost elevator, didn't you? Yes. That's the one. Dio and Quark were next. You came out of the elevator next to Luna's. Right? Yeah. We did. And finally, the two of you were trapped in... The third elevator from the left. Yes. No one has come out of the leftmost elevator. Are you... are you saying there's still someone in there? I can't say for certain, but it does seem strange. Maybe we should go take a look. Some kind of card reader? Maybe it unlocks it or something. There is one next to each door. What do you think Ambidex room is supposed to mean? Well, it says it on all six of the elevators. Maybe it has something to do with the game that Zero was talking about. Oh, the Nonary Game Ambidex Edition? <sighs> nah, I got nothing, not even dirt. So they've taken everything we were carrying? Wonderful. There's no one in there. <laughs> what makes you so sure? What's that? Look! It's opening! There was someone in there! Clover! Are you okay? Clover! Wake up! What did you do to her? Nothing. She was like that when I woke up. I really wouldn't worry, though. She should be all right. Her breathing is steady. I believe she's only sleeping. Then she hasn't woken up since they kidnapped her. Uh, kidnapped? Begging your pardon, but... I'm afraid I don't understand what you mean. Where are we? And... who are you? <laughs> I'm... Hmm... Who am I? 
I don't remember. I don't remember anything. I have no idea where I am, or who I am, or even what day it is. If you happen to know any of those things, I would very much appreciate it if you share that information. Not knowing one's identity is... vexing. Oh yeah, very original. The amnesiac routine. <laughs> Please. How are we supposed to take you seriously when you're wearing this... this... this robot suit? We can't even see your face! Are you gonna tell us someone forced you into that thing? I assume so? It seems the most reasonable explanation. When I woke up, I was wearing this... armor, I suppose you could call it. You look pretty calm for a man who doesn't know who he is. Look? That's an odd choice of words. I'm wearing a mask. How would you know how I... look? Ah, you know what I meant, you smartass. Uh... Oh. She's waking up. Clover! Are you okay? Come on, talk to me! Where are we? What? No. No, that can't. When did you lose your memory? When? That's a difficult question. I suppose... when I was born. I don't remember anything of my life. Assuming I had one. I think he has generalized amnesia. It's a type of memory loss. People affected by it retain knowledge like language, social common sense, memorized facts, abilities they've learned. But anything that has to do with um, themselves is just lost. It's a very serious condition. Most research suggests that it's mainly psychological, not physiological. But in very rare instances, it has been shown to result from severe head trauma. Hmm. Maybe I had a really bad breakup? <laughs> Bullshit. This guy's obviously full of it. Tell me you're actually buying this.
Didn't I tell you that? There's a box here. Maybe it's some sort of locking thing, like the ones next to the elevators. I don't think it's a card reader, though. Hey, what do you think that is? That graffiti over there. See, on the wall? Oh, yes, that. I was wondering what that was. Two Milkmen Go Comedy. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. I think it's somebody's way of saying hello. You heard me. It's an anagram. Yeah, they tried a lot of names before they worked it down to Tella. Come on, seriously? You've never heard of an anagram. It's a kind of, um, wordplay where you move the letters around to create something else. Right? Exactly. Watch. Somebody was expecting us, doesn't it? True. But you're assuming that Zero isn't one of us. scared to come out and face me like a man? Are you an idiot? I'm a rabbit. You really think a talking rabbit is a real thing? Of course I don't. You're some kind of CG rabbit or something, probably. That's not what I meant, though. Oh! You meant you want to see the person who's controlling me? I guess God touched this one a little too hard. What? Weren't you listening to Fido? She's clever, you know. Well, yes. I guess that's one way to put it. Are you really sure? You're responding to our questions and stuff right now. That means you're not just, like, a, a video somebody made. Wouldn't that mean that Zero would have to be controlling you and sending you answers right now? Because it doesn't look like anyone's doing that. Well, of course they aren't. I'm an AI. I'm an artificial intelligence powered by a quantum computer. Zero is the one who built me, of course. So I guess that makes one of you my parent! <laughs> Now, are you a mommy or a daddy? <laughs> that would be telling. <laughs> now, with that said, I guess I should probably tell you that I'm not the one who brought you here. I mean, 
obviously. I don't even have a body. I'm just the facilitator for this facility. I just do what I'm told to do. And what do you facilitate? Didn't I say? The game, of course! <laughs> Correct! It's my job to make sure it runs smooth. No! It's supposed to be over. So, what is the Nonary game? Nonary refers to a base 9 numeral system, but can also mean something that is, in some way, related to the number 9. Nona can be used as a prefix as well, where it means essentially the same thing. Therefore, it stands to reason that the Nonary game is a game that deals with the number 9 in some way. Exactly. 9 is a very, very important number in this game. After all, 9 is your goal. Goal? Yes, goal! You see that door in front of you. That's your door. If you can open the door with a nine on it, you can escape. What do we have to do to open it? Yes, yes, yes. Let me explain. Look at your left wrists. You see the bracelet? Of course you do. Now, tell me, Fido, what number is on yours? A three. What about the rest of you? They're all the same. We've all got threes. Exactly. I'm going to call those numbers bracelet points. If you're feeling lazy, you can just call them BP. Only the people who can get their number to nine or more will be able to open the door with a nine on it and escape. See the box on the wall? That's how you'll get out. Anyone with a greater than or equal to 9 BP can pull that lever and the door will open. However, there are three rules you can't forget. One, the number 9 door will only stay open for 9 seconds. When your time is up, it will close automatically, so be careful. Two, the number nine door only opens once. Once that happens, it's all over. It'll close for good after nine seconds, so if you're not careful, you could get stuck. Three. Now, maybe some of you are thinking. You're thinking, oh ho. If my BP is too low, then I'll just have someone with enough BP open the door. And I'll just slip through when it's open. Well, that's not gonna happen! If you think you can be sneaky, well... Oh, I... Oh, I really shouldn't say that yet. <laughs> All you need to know is that anybody who tries to sneak out gets hit with a big penalty. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? Down in front! I'll tell you later. Um... Yes? Why did you start making... rabbit puns? Uh... Well, um... <laughs> Cause I felt like it? I thought it might make me sound cute. Never mind that. You still haven't told us what we need to know most. How do we get BP? Oh, that's easy. Just use the Ambidex room. If you like abbreviations, you can always call it the AB room instead. You mean those, uh... Elevators? Gold Star! So how do we go about using them? How else do you use a room? You go in. 
No. I had a hunch you might try that, so I closed those up tight while you were talking. So don't be hatching any hatch plans, you understand? I live in the master computer. That means all the electronic doors in this whole warren are under my control. How do we get in then? We tried the doors on the front, they're all locked. There's a card reader next to each one, isn't there? All you gotta do is slide a card through, and there you go. And where do we find those key cards? Well, we don't got them. There weren't any in the warehouse. Uh, oh, well, no. Of course there wouldn't be any there. Then where are they? I think you will find what you're looking for behind the chromatic doors. <laughs> right here! You see the three pretty doors just to your right? Huh? Hold on. I thought those doors were locked. Work. What? You see those buttons on the sides of your watch? Can you press them at the same time? Why? To make little boys ask questions. Just press them, please. In fact, why doesn't everybody press their buttons as well? <laughs> the two digits on the left show hours, and the two on the right show minutes. Does that mean it's 12.10 in the morning? No. Numbers are going down. It's gone from ten minutes to nine. So that would mean this must be counting down to something, right? Correct. I don't even need to explain the rest, do I? I'm guessing this is the time until the chromatic doors unlock. Ding 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 ding! Very impressive, ten me only. Nah. All right. Let us review what we've learned. In nine minutes, the chromatic doors will open automatically. However, just like the number nine door, they won't stay open forever. You have five minutes. Once your time is up, the doors will close no matter what. So I hope you've gone through by then. That's just the primary door. <laughs> what? Each door in this warren has a twin. Isn't that nice? The chromatic doors aren't any different. There's one door on this side, one door on the other side. Unfortunately, the secondary chromatic door on the other side is locked too. <laughs> Couldn't make it easy for us, could you? you'll all have to split up. Split up? Yep. Cleaver, can you tell me what the three primary colors are? Why are you asking me? Because you're the only person who hasn't talked to me. I try to communicate with as many people as I can. It helps me improve, you see. I'm trying to get into the rabbit of doing it all the time. Now, Answer my questions. Do you know what the three primary colors are? Well... Y you mean red, green, and blue? You're supposed to be able to make any color by mixing them, right? So which colors would you mix to get magenta? Red and blue. How about yellow green and red what if you wanted cyan blue and green that's right now take another look at the nice bracelets you're all wearing notice how they come in three vibrant colors yeah yeah we get it already. 
The red and blue bracelets can open the secondary magenta door together. Green and red can open the yellow one. And blue and green can open the cyan door. I miss anything? Wonderful! I think you grab it. There is one other little thing, though. You're talking about what happens if you've got two of the same color, right? Yeah. What do you think happens? How the hell would I know? If you want to open a door, but all you've got is one color, then you can use that to open a door with the complementary color to the one you've got. Hmm. I see. So if you've got red and red, then you can open the cyan door. Blue and blue can open the yellow door. And green and green can open the magenta door. Right again! Looks like your brain hasn't rotted away yet, ten me oldie. Uh, just what the hell's that supposed to mean? It means exactly what it says. I was trying to compliment you, you know. Oh well. Let's continue, shall we? There are two types of bracelets. Pairs and solos. That means there's two types of players, too. Pairs and solos. In this game, the two members of a pair are considered to be a single entity, which means they share the same destiny. Isn't that a good deal? I mean, you get two for the price of one. <laughs> Unfortunately, it also means they carry Members of a pair have to go through the same chromatic door. Solos don't have any restrictions like that, though. I mean, why would they? They're forever alone. And that means that they can go wherever they want. Yay! Now, let's take another look at all of your bracelets. We'll start with you, Siggy. What color is your bracelet? Are you a pair or a solo? Fight him is next! Tell us about your bracelet. It's just like Sigma's red in a pair. What about you, Alas? It's red, and I'm a solo. Bio, quirk. Blue, pair. Yeah, mine's the same. Moody, Cleaver, Tamioli, all at once. I'm a blue solo. I'm a green pair. Green solo. And finally, uh, who are you? I'm, uh, let's see. I suppose you can call me... K. I knew it! You were just lying about that amnesia crap! I'm not lying. This was just a... How do I put it? A flash of insight, I suppose. I saw the letter K. So? What does K have to do with anything? I wish I knew. Sadly, I have no idea. Does it mean anything to you? Asshole. Come on now, boys. You can fight later. Now, uh, Kay? Can I call you that? Yes. I'm guessing your bracelet is the same as Clover's. That's right. It says pear. And the text is green. Thank <laughs> you. 
Or you could work with Mr. Dio and me. We're blue too. Whoops! Oh, celery sticks. I forgot to tell you. You have to have exactly three people in your group to open the secondary door. That means you can't have two people or four people or, well, anything other than three, really. <laughs> probably tell you that the secondary door won't open until the primary door closes. It's made that way to keep out cheaters. We didn't want a fourth or fifth person just running in at the last minute like, no, wait for me, when the right people open the door. But if the primary door closes first, then that's impossible. You see, it all makes sense. Anywho, might have run a too long in my explanation, but now I'm all done. Any questions? Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. Oh, so sorry guys, but it looks like your time's up. You better hop to it and get those secondary doors open. Fuck that. We aren't gonna open shit. You can take your lamery game and shove it up your ass. If you think we're just gonna swallow your psychotic crap and play along, you've got another thing coming, you smart-ass little rodent. I'm a rabbit. Shut up! Well, shoot. I thought you might say that. Unfortunately, you have no choice but to follow the rules. <laughs> Why is that? When the time comes, those three doors will automatically close. Left outside after they close, they'll. They'll what? They'll be penalized. You keep saying that. What the hell is this penalty anyway? Well. called Soporil Beta. The other is a muscle relaxant called Tubocurarine. Your bracelet also has a bunch of needles on the inside. If you break the rules, 
those needles hop out and inject you. First is the silver rail, which puts you to sleep. Nine minutes later, the tube of purine is injected, numbing your respiratory muscles. I guess you could say, it'll really take your breath away. You should know that the soporil is only there out of the kindness of Zero's heart. Oh, and, and I mean the real Zero. Mm -hmm, not me. Zero just doesn't want to see anybody suffer. Isn't that just so compassionate? If I had a heart, it'd be melting right now. Anyway, all it means is that you'll die pretty famously, so hey, there's nothing to worry about, really. Of course, none of that will happen. Just follow the rules. Three minutes remain until chromatic doors close. Well then, looks like it's time for me to hop on out of here. Good luck, guys! See you all later! Have a nice trap! <laughs> What are we waiting for? We need to go. We need to get through these other doors. But how do we figure out which door to go through? You still don't get it? <sighs> Fine. Just pay attention, we don't have much time. Zero's explanation was pretty confusing, so let me put it in small words for you. There are only three possible options. Option A. Sigma and I pair up with Luna. Our red and her blue can open the magenta door. That would mean Clover and Kay would go with Alice. Their green goes with her red to make yellow. That just leaves Dio and Quark as the blue pair, and Tenmyoji as the green solo. The only door they can open is the Cyan one. Got it? Option B. Sigma and I go with Tenmyoji so we can use red and green to make yellow for that door. That means Clover and Kay pair up with Luna to open the Cyan door. This leaves Dio and Quark with Alice, and together, they can open up the Magenta door. And finally, option C would be where we pair up with light colors to open complementary colored doors. That means Sigma, Alice, and I go through the Cyan door, Clover K and Tenmyoji go through the magenta door. And Dio, Quark, and Luna go through the yellow door. Problem is, which do we choose? Please, Sigma, choose something. <laughs> If you don't want to, then maybe Alice or Clover can choose. Or Tenmyoji or Dio or anyone. Once one person chooses, everyone else's decisions will be made for them. But please, you have to hurry. We're almost out of time. One minute remains until chromatic doors close. <laughs> Sure. All right. Then Clover and I will go with Alice. As long as I get to go with Alice, I'm fine. 
I don't have any objections. We'll be going through the yellow door, right? That means Dio, Quark, and I are doing the cyan door. Ugh, stuck with a kid and some old fart. I can't see how this could possibly go badly. Hmm. Well, maybe we'll get lucky and you'll pull your head out of your ass. What did you just say? Ten seconds remain until chromatic doors close. Nine. Eight. Seven. We need to hurry. Three. Two. One. Zero. Chromatic doors closing. Didn't you see the door? It said this is the lounge. Well, there doesn't seem to be much dust. Maybe there is. Beats me. Looks like there are four doors in here. Yeah. The one we came in, the one opposite it, and two more on the left and right. The two on the sides are covered with metal plates, though. Don't think we'll be opening them anytime soon. I didn't see any other doors in the hallway we came through. Maybe we can find one of the keys to the A-B room in here somewhere. 